Hey folks, a real quick video on something I saw on LinkedIn earlier referring to the definition of levels of tests and in particular the definition of a unit test. What, what is a unit test? Often we describe a unit test as a test of a particular component, a particular method or particular class. But I say that's not true. That's not a good definition of a unit test. In fact, the real thing that you write when you're testing or when you're demonstrating your fine-grained details of your behavior, of your code, is not a unit of code. What you are describing, what you are testing, what you're demonstrating is the behavior, the business logic at whatever level it is. The business logic that your code describes. Now, it's that business logic filtering a string, transforming a string, turning a number into another, in, turning a string input into a number, whatever it is, at a really low level, it's still business behavior. And that is what you should be specifying when you write your unit tests. In fact, I don't see them as tests at all. I see them as specifications, specifications for low level behavior. And at every level, I have my specifications. I have my specifications for high level business functionality. I have my specif specifications that are intended for business users, for testers, for other people in the team. And I also have my specifications which are written for myself and for other developers. And those specifications can be more technical, it can be more low level, but they are still specifications. They still describe inputs and outputs regardless of the implementation. They are implementation neutral. They don't care how it gets coded. It could be one class, it could be three classes, don't care. Could be a database, could be a file structure, don't care. Does it do the job? Does it take an input and produce the output that I expect? Does it behave in the way that it throw the exception that I expect when something goes wrong? Does it behave in the way I expect? And what do I expect it to do? That's what I call a unit test. Well, that's what I describe the lowest level. Is it a unit test? I don't know. Maybe it's just a low level specification, but that, I find that concept much more useful than the idea, the old school approach of having a unit test that tests every single method. If you have that, a unit test that tests every method, then guess what? When your methods change, even if they're being refactored or renamed or changed a little bit, your test will break and that's a headache. If you're testing behavior, even at a low level, then it doesn't matter if you change the implementation. That behavior should still work. So that's all for today, folks. Thanks for listening.